I don't think I've ever needed a facial more than I did last week. And I was experiencing quite a few breakouts as well as very dehydrated skin. So I was very excited when Oxygen Suticals invited me to go get a facial featuring their products. And so I'm going to discuss the whole experience, what was used on my skin, the process, and show you guys my before and afters because I'm pleasantly surprised by how my skin looks and feels. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now let's take you guys back to the beginning. And I'm kind of doing this vlog style, but I'll also include some voiceovers so this is me before my treatment but it actually is the morning and I decided that I wanted to film a video you guys are gonna come along with me to go into the spa today for a little skincare treatment frankly I really need it right now you may or may not have noticed I've got a bit of a breakout going on on my cheek here like to see if we can get ahead of or take care of or just kind of help a little bit so I've got some interesting breakouts over here I've got a little pimple on my chin here my nose is kind of peeling just overall I feel like I could use some help <laughs> okay so I just got here I'm at the row in downtown Los Angeles. It's like a beautiful day and so I'm walking now in between the buildings. Um, I need to be at 787 so I'm currently looking for it but I'm not gonna lie if you're wandering around this is a really nice area to kind of explore because there's lots of cute shops and places to eat. So yeah I'm gonna go ahead and find this place. I checked in I was led to my little room which was super cute and cozy and I was ready to start my skincare treatment and to give you a little spoiler alert this guy right here which is the oxygen dome was absolutely amazing I'll get into more of that later on in the video but at this point it was time to climb into the bed and get ready this is not normal for me. Yeah, okay. Um, Some fun stuff happening yeah. right now. Yeah. Usually like I break out on my chin okay. or even my forehead. Alrighty, so today we'll focus primarily on hydrating the skin and calming down any inflammation with oxygen therapy. I'm gonna have to see if this is able to be extracted. It looks like um, a little nodule developing underneath the skin. Mm -hmm. So we might have to be a little bit careful with that one. Sure. So the first thing she did was cleanse my skin. She used the purifying pore wash. She could tell immediately that I was experiencing breakouts and just in general needed a really nice cleanse. So she used something that was able to get deep into the pores and really foam up to help break up a lot of that oil and sebum that I was experiencing on my skin. I definitely needed a good exfoliation, but like I said, I do have dry sensitive skin. So she used the daily botanical enzyme peel. She opted for the enzymes because it featured pineapple and papaya enzymes and that's a more gentle exfoliant than using something that has like a physical exfoliant to it or even something that has like a more harsher chemical exfoliant. I actually have this at home so I wanted to show you guys a close-up of this product in action because like it was with some of the other shots it's hard to see all the detail with how dark the room was but as you work this enzyme peel onto the skin it starts to ball up it gently removes all those dead skin cells on the surface of the skin and again keyword being gently removes because again as i've said a thousand times in this video i have sensitive skin so that really matters for me this next part was a very satisfying part and i will forewarn you there's a teeny tiny bit of blood in the next I guess shots. I'll go ahead and put a little skip here if that makes you a little uncomfortable, but she did do some extractions. I really love this part of my facials. I know some people it's very polarizing because it is, I guess, a hair painful because she does use a little like needle to get into the skin or like to prick it to allow the pressure to 
be relieved and like all the gunk in the pimple. And then after the extractions, which she did all over my skin, she used high frequency on my skin. And basically how this works, it's a glass electrode that has argon gas in it and it helps destroy the acne causing bacteria on the skin. Now I know I just said I love the extractions, but I also really love the next step, which is the oxygen infusion. So the oxygen infusion is like pure oxygen being infused into the skin. And what this actually does is it replenishes the hydration levels of the skin. It helps plump the appearance of the skin and overall just kind of helps replenish everything, all the levels in your skin. Since it is like a diffused mist, it's able to penetrate more deeply. And with oxygen suticles, you not only have the pure oxygen, but you also have the sea minerals, which helps with inflammation. It helps with irritation. And on top of that, it helps with barrier function and just overall improves the integrity of the skin. So I was all about this oxygen therapy. In fact, I asked her, I was like, where can I get one of these at home? Because it really made a difference in my skin. If you're looking for that like glossy hydration hydrated look. This is what I really feel like gave me that and she did this at several steps of the facial which I will again go over as we get there. So for someone like me who has like basically chronically dry skin, this was amazing and definitely a treatment I plan to do in the future. Next she moved on to another style of oxygen infusion therapy and this was something I had never experienced so it was definitely very interesting and for me who tries a lot of skincare, I was obsessed with this. Do you guys remember me talking about this at the beginning of the video? Yeah, we're about to get into it. And basically what it is, is an oxygen dome. So while it simultaneously is infusing oxygen into the skin through the mist that, like I said, was happening through several steps and being layered onto my skin through the facial, it also featured a red LED light for 10 minutes, which red LED light is great for helping with recovery of the skin. It's great for anti-aging. It's great for like balancing out the skin tone. And so again, since I was experiencing a lot of inflammation and irritation because not only had I just had extractions done, but my skin was just overall irritated. That was desperately needed and being able to layer on that highly penetrative hydration was really, really helpful for my skin. And again, I think that was something that helped with the irritation and inflammation and the recovery of my skin in general. So I felt like without that, I wouldn't have had the results that I did. Now, the next step she did was the clarifying mask with the toning gel which is also something that I've done at home. Like I said, I have oxygen pseudical products at home and they are the products that I go to when I'm giving myself my own facials. Reason being is because I like the versatility of being able to combine a lot of their products together, but their clarifying mask actually has ceramides in it, so it helps rebuild and replenish the skin. And then I can kind of use the toning gel to add even more hydration to my skin. Following that, she did a modeling mask, the VC mask on my skin. This features ascorbic acid, which is a form of vitamin C, so it helped brighten up the skin tone. And on top of that, it also had the C minerals, which helps with inflammation and irritation. And since it's a modeling mask, it is also gonna help with product penetration because it kind of like anchors all of that skincare that was applied to the skin. So I think that was on my skin for about five to 10 minutes. It wasn't a really long process, but through doing that and also the, the modeling mask goes on pretty cool, my skin definitely felt a lot more soothed afterwards and felt like super like plump and healthy. Now on top of the oxygen therapy, throughout the process she was also applying like different layers of moisturization. One of them being the Cuprose Fluid. This is a really nice lightweight fluid that just absorbed immediately into my skin. And this one's actually packed with like hydrolyzed collagen, which is going to improve the recovery of the skin. A couple other moisturizers she was using was the Cuprose Cream as well as the PP Cream. Again, these help with moisturizing the skin recovery, it helped calm my sensitized skin, and they feature things like niacinamide to help brighten the skin tone, adenosine to help skin elasticity, and just overall, it just kind of sealed everything in to lock in all the work that she'd done to my skin. And so now that I've gone through the entire process of what I had done at the things we do with oxygen pseudical products, I wanna show you guys the healing process of my skin. So I did do a little vlog style documentation of my first three days after my skin treatment. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here so you can actually see day by day how my skin improved. Okay, I just finished my treatment. She was able to extract that, but that irritation's gonna go down. But my skin feels and looks amazing. She was like 
baby dolphin and that's exactly how I feel so oh, I'm so excited Okay, so I wanted to check in and show you guys the results of my facial, or at least give you guys a little update, because I think I'm gonna update you guys again tomorrow. But I feel like my skin looks a lot better. I'm using natural lighting in all of these before and after, so you guys can see what my skin actually looks like. And my skin overall looks a lot more hydrated. So this is now completely flat. I think it looks a lot better. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of like a hole from where it was extracted. Um, and it's a little red still, but this one up here, it looks pretty good. Like I don't even really see this one anymore. Um, and then after like a day or two, this should look a lot better. Okay, so I just wanna hop in here and give you guys a final after of my skin after getting my facial with Oxygen Suitable products. And I'm very happy with how my skin is looking. I don't have anything actually on my skin right now. Again, I feel like my skin's maintaining more hydration. It was definitely dehydrated. My skin's definitely more comfortable. And then this is looking a lot better. The one that I had up here, like it's pretty much completely gone. And then this one is still a little bit red, which is to be expected, but it's completely flat. And so I'm really happy with that because I think if I didn't go get that treated, I would have been dealing with that probably for like a month. As I said several times throughout the video, this facial could not have come at a better time because sometimes you just need something like that to optimize your skin and get it back up to its proper levels. And so I'm really happy that I was able to get this done. As you can see, like I said, I have nothing on my skin and my skin actually looks like it's still very hydrated considering now that this is a couple days out from my facial. And overall, I just feel like now I can maintain it a little bit better. So overall, I had a very, very positive experience. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave down in the description box below all the details for the place that I went to as well as all the products that were used on my skin in this video and some of my favorite oxygen suitable products down below I hope this was helpful in case you guys have experienced those types of really deep cystic breakouts or you're just looking into some new interesting skin treatments to get done and as always I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate comment subscribe share with your friends and family hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye guys!